and welcome to another Dave Does. Today we are back doing more Patreon requests. As always, if you are one of the patrons, you get to pick up three uh, songs per month uh, to for me to react to as part of your Patreon package. And today's Patreon is just up here. So thank you very much for your support of the channel. You've asked me as part of this month's uh, request to check out Earth and Grave Live. Now you've sent me a link, but what was the... It just says Earth and Grave Live, Ottawa, Canada. At Saint Bridge, he doesn't tell me the song title. Okay, you must have sent it to me in the details. Oh, the song is Earth and Grave. Okay, that's confusing. Earth and Grave doing Earth and Grave. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Mike, you must have put it in your commentary, but you know what I'm like. I get so busy, I just copied your link into here and got straight into the videos. So apologies there for not reading the commentary. But okay, this is their up there song. It's part of. Part of the Music and Beyond Festival. Okay. Looking forward to checking it out. Uh, I have done them before. They've been pretty cool what I've seen so far. So I am looking forward to checking out some more of them. Especially from a live performance. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Hit the bell icon, like, share, leave your comments down below. Uh, as always, there's no pausing or talking during the videos. That way you get to enjoy the song. I get to enjoy the song. And there is none of that kind of breaking it. Just where the flow of the song gets good. Share thoughts at the end. Let's count it in. Three, two, one. Go! Nope, let's try that again. Three, two, one, go!
Okay, there we go. Earth and Grave and the song Earth and Grave. Uh, very interesting track and more importantly, a very interesting venue. So they call it the, um, what do you call it? The St. Bridget's Centre for the Arts in Ottawa, uh, Ottawa Ontario, Canada. So, um, okay, it's a church. Is it a functioning church? That's what I'm first question is, is because that's a big stage. So do they keep the stage there all your time round or do they just set up for events? Um, don't really see anyone doing anything other than using churches for church services, I guess, here in the United Kingdom. It's occasionally, maybe you have the sports halls and stuff at the back of the church, but never really the church itself. So it's unusual to see that. Um, and certainly not for a rock or a metal band. So uh, interesting from that point of view. I liked the song. It was good. It was catchy. Um, I liked the mix of bringing in sort of violin parts into a kind of a sort of fairly sort of standard rock track with elements of big sort of doom bands like the Sabbath. And I think that's interesting because you don't need a big backdrop when you've got a big church like that. That's that's a big enough backdrop on its own. It's impressive enough to have just something like that. Um I'm wondering where, obviously from a festival point of view, was it kind of like there was lots of different bands playing at different places on different days and it was just to encourage people to check out new bands. I, I didn't under, quite understand how that kind of put, comes together because um, it just seemed like one band playing at that venue. So, uh, may, And I've heard this happen some places where you'll have multiple venues in a town and a different band will be playing at a different time of the day. So people just basically move from venue to venue. Um, and that way each band sets up at a time. One's at one o'clock, one's at two o'clock, three o'clock. And you just literally go from one place to the other, watch each band. And the band closes up and the venue finishes. Uh, and sometimes you'll go back to that venue later in the day with another band. So you'll have this swap over of about three hours in between. Um, something we do here in the United Kingdom in the town that I'm in is Hartford. And we have the Hartford Mystery Tour. Um, and it happens every year. It didn't happen last year because of lockdown, unfortunately. But basically, we have one day where all the pubs, restaurants, bars in the little town of Hartford go to bands and musicians. And it starts at midday and it goes on to like 10, 11 at night. And you have over 40 venues within a one mile radius all just playing music. There's street venues, there's bars, everything goes onto the streets. It's just like a big festival. Uh, it's amazing. And hopefully if it happens again this year, because uh, it usually happens in, I don't know if it'll happen this year, it's usually like midsummer. So if it does happen, I think it's August this year. Um, so if it does happen, I will definitely do some video footage of it and take you on a, a bit of a tour of that on my, my channel. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how it works. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, cool. I liked the song, liked all the parts to it. So uh, I'd like to know a bit more information about that, the setup. That'd be cool. Uh, but if you like this video, please do subscribe, click that like on, like, share, leave comments down below. And that, of course, is how Dave does it.